All right, let's take a look at measure number one of Greasy Coat, the melodic version. Measure number one starts out with some familiar ideas, just a couple of basic strums, what I call the boom chicka motions. Uh, we're going to weave a couple melody notes in there. Measure number one. Measure number two is going to start out just the same way we did on measure number one, and then we're just going to move that third fret note down to the fourth string. Measure number two looks and sounds like so. And that takes us to measure three on the first line here going to start out the same way as the last two measures and then a little slightly different ending otherwise measure three is a whole lot like measure number one a little drop thumb at the end and that'll take us to line two measure number one line two a lot of boom notes here, just some straight boom notes. Uh, we're going to do some hammer-ons, work our way up the melody. Uh, so the second half of the measure is just a straight boom, chicka, strum. And we lead up to that with a couple hammer-ons. Do that for you one more time, a little more cleanly. Here in measure number two on the second line, we're going to introduce some of what I call the knockdown style. Um, that leads us right into the third measure of this line. We're going to slide in to the second fret, second string. This is classic banjo stuff here we're playing this note on the second fret second string it's the same as the open first string same note so you get that slide in effect on the unison notes and you get a really classic classic banjo sound anyway let's get back to work here uh, i'll play that measure for you a couple times Now we move to the third line, and the first measure there is just the same as the third measure on the first line. This is a repeat idea. And the last measure of this line is the same as the first measure in the previous line.
that does it for the A part, so let's take a look at the B part. We're starting now on the fourth line of the tab, first measure. So we start out with a boom chicka basic strum and we're weaving the melody notes in there. We're also splitting that initial boom note with a hammer on. That takes us to measure number two on this line. And you notice there we have on the tab an X in parentheses, and that is indicating a phantom stroke. So if you don't know this already, if you see that in my tab, um, that's indicating that you just keep the motion going, that you need to keep going with your claw hammer style, but just miss the string. So again, watch closely if this is new to you. Um, now let's move on to the third measure of this line. And that should look familiar to you because we just played that a couple measures ago. 